All right, coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. It's Thursday, May 24th. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. Well, the EU summit went off yesterday. Well, without any hitches, I guess, is what you could say, because they didn't get anything accomplished yet again, which kind of reminds me of this little chart that we're going to throw up here. David Einhorn, I think, is the one that came up with it. I saw it on Zero Hedge yesterday. It's basically the cyclical pattern of all these European summits from the last 18 months. What is happening? They come up with the European summit. Escalation of the stock market. Everybody's getting real happy that they're doing something. They're coming up with a plan. Then it comes down a little bit further. Well, they start talking about implementing this plan. Then it kind of falls down to the wayside. Nobody can come up with any uh, concrete uh, way to get these things implemented. So now the stock market starts falling off. And we're kind of right there at that place where we came in, the stock market was rallying. We had a lot of euphoria as they were going to get something done. And now we're looking at it like, well, sure enough, nothing happened. Holland, or Holland Day from France, went to talk to Merkel, thinking about this Euro bond thing was going to float. Merkel kind of just shrugged it off. Holland saying, well, this is the start of the talks of the Euro bond. And Merkel saying, well, no, this is actually the end of the talk of the Euro bond. And the Dutch and the Finnish are not even going to be involved in it at all. They're even more point blank saying that they don't want any of this debt. The problem is, right now, is you have a work ethic in the northern part of the region, and in the southern part, it's a, a laissez-faire, you know, who gives a care? They don't. And that's the problem with the Germans and the Greece. The Greek want to be lazy and not pay off their debt and run these huge debts, whereas the Germans don't want to pay for it. They want to keep the labor costs low and those kind of things. That's a huge division that they're having to come up with. And that's why I've said that they should have kicked Greece out about a year ago. We would probably be already on this healing process. We would have been past the riot. They would have been on the point of a recovery at this point as far as I'm concerned. So, if you can't take that, get out of the house. Anyway, moving on to the PMI number over there, they're just terrible. We've had all kinds of PMI numbers. China's PMI number came in below 50, which is a showing of a retraction. The French PMI came in lower. German PMI came in lower. The Eurozone PMI came in lower. One shining light was the U.S. We may be the ones to try and pull the world out of this global recession. We're showing expansion in the market, and our flash PMI came in 54 point something or other. Anything above 50 is showing the market is expanding. So that's a good thing here in the United States. That's kind of kept the equity markets up here a little bit buoyant. We're kind of sticking around this 1305 to 1312-ish area, which is becoming a real uh, area of trend right now. Until anything happens out of the EU, we're, I don't expect to see anything different happen. The dollar's starting to gain strength. It's causing all of these markets pretty much to come off a little bit. All the rumors of China uh, backing out of all of their grain supplies that they bought is actually starting to look like that's pretty true and now it's starting to come out that they're they're backing out of steel purchases, coal purchases, cotton purchases. So things aren't looking too good over there in China. Again, their PMI, GDP, everything is starting to look like it's starting to pull back a little bit. Anyway, that's about all I got from you today. So if you can't take that, take it easy. <laughs>